Uh, the teacher I had from age six until I was 14 didn't play with a pig. Consequently, he never had me do exercises with a pig. All that stuff that we're supposed to learn, the right way to pick, he had me, I could play with a pick in my lessons, but he played with his fingers and not like classical guitar, it was like a bastardized banjo classical thing. And uh, it was kind of a... from a whole other place, guys. <laughs> I remember he taught me, um, I don't know, like Malaguena or one of those. But it was just his way of teaching it. I'm sure he didn't really know the music, so I learned all these bastardized versions of these tunes that I thought that's the way it goes, and that's the way the teacher showed it to me. But what I was getting at is there's a huge hole, if you will, in my technique because I didn't have a teacher that taught me with a pick. Consequently, I never had to practice. I don't even know the right fingerings for three octaves of a scale. And then the minor scales and all that stuff. Um, so I kind of have skated by on that for years and found a way for me to make music out of what I do have technique-wise. But there are a lot of guys like Matheny and these guys who own the guitar technically. And I encourage you, if you're starting to get lazy, don't. Because when, have you guys gone to that YouTube thing where Pat Matheny just does his warm up for seven minutes? He's at a seminar? I mean, it's remarkable. The, the command this man has over his instrument. And I struggle playing a C major scale in two octaves, you know? And that's good because I've been on tour all month, you know? So, I'm just letting you know, none of us have it all together. But the music is what I kind of focused on at a young age because I didn't know any better. But I wish I had better technique, that's the honest truth. Yeah, man, you get that harmony under your belt. I'm seeing all that when I'm soloing. I know what note I'm on and what the next chord is going to be if my note is common to that or not common to that. And it's easier to make melodic statements when you don't have to move so much, even though we all want to burn. So, if you like melody and the way I kind of make my solos into little songs, it's because I'm thinking harmony. So I, I encourage you to spend some time thinking about your harmony. It's too loud, Ricky Bob, in my monitor. A little softer in my monitor still it would be great. So, G's common to all that. Okay, we all know that. E's pretty common except for the... We get off before the plus five chords. G. Thank you. 
I go into that in a lot more detail, by the way, and this is not just a promo, but I have a new teaching DVD coming out before Christmas called 335 Improv, and I really explain what's going on in my head in very simple terms when the chords are moving, and that awareness of common tone is, is really a good thing to have on your belt, so you're, you're comfortable, you can sit on a note, and you know it's going to sound good. and it becomes musically exciting, dramatic, if you will. So that's the kind of sound that I've always been working on, that soft to loud, aggression, clean. There's not much distortion on that at all, that's my touch, right? That's the way I play all night long in my show. That kind of wide dynamic range. <laughs> 